I know my flea market videos are well liked and I love going to the flea market, but I have not gone much because I only really go with my family and uh, my dad has been working weekends and stuff lately, so less videos. But I got a lot of stuff actually, not me personally, but I have a lot to show because I uh, borrowed some of my mom's purchases to show you guys because some of it is for me. Um, as I go through some of the stuff, I'm going to tell you about some of the great deals that my mom purchased that I'm not going to show you because, you know, it's kind of unnecessary to show you everything. But we'll start with these folders. They were originally three for a dollar, but my 10 year old brother needs these for fifth grade for his uh, school supply list. They're just plastic folders. These happen to have the prongs in them. He doesn't need the prongs, but hey, these were. These, I'm not sure if they're still on sale, but 35 cents at Staples for a plastic folder. And I'm sure the pronged ones cost more. But anyways, uh, the guy gave us a deal. I was picking out the colors that my brother needed. He needed, this is green, I think, but it looks yellowish enough. He needed yellow, red, blue, green. Kids across the country need those same four colors, I'm sure. Um, and he said, just pay a dollar for all of it. So that was really awesome. Because 25 cents each is better than 35 cents. A lot better, actually. You know, it's the, the dimes count when you're trying to stay on a budget. And then these, for me, they're 50 cents each. There are 50 in a pack, so one cent per clothespin. These are large and sturdy. And I kind of like cute having cute clothespins for the purpose I got these for, but for such a cheap price for so many, and these are large and sturdy, I got them because I want to hang up photos on, on strings at, um, at college for my dorm. I don't think I'm going to have a hundred photos to hang up or anything, but I could not pass these up because I feel like I could do DIYs with them, or I could actually use them as clothespins. And this, my dad actually picked up for me. I got a bike for college. My mom paid for it for me. Um, and it's a really nice, it's a cruiser. It's like a 60s styled bike. It has a basket in the front, a little uh, section at the back where there's a little backpack that came with it that has, like it's a little carrier bag. And it's really cute, but I needed a lock for it because I didn't have my own bike before. I just always borrowed my mom's. Uh, and this was $2. Now this is a low security lock because it's a word lock. I feel like those are kind of easy to break into, but my idea was I could just make a nonsense word, basically. It kind of defeats the purpose, because I think part of the word lock, um, part of what makes it attractive is that it's just a word, so you can remember it more easily, but I really don't want people to steal my bike, so I'll just make, a, make up a nonsense word or something, because um, it's resettable. Um, trash bags. There's two dollars. Not the greatest deal ever, but 25 bags, 13 gallon. If you go to the Dollar Tree and you buy two boxes of trash bags, it'll basically be the same cost as this. It's just, you know, I was like, what, whatever, I'll, I'll get these. I'm gonna need trash bags at college. And my mom doesn't buy trash bags because we always just use grocery bags. Um, so... That was a little tacky to take a bunch of grocery bags, although I did pack some, you know. Because my trash can's a small one anyway, it's not 13 gallons, but I'm an adult. Might as well just buy some trash bags for college. Even though it kind of hurt to buy, spend my money on, you know, just basic household essentials. Then this pack of sticky notes, it was open when I bought it. Uh, kind of looks, you know, you know, yeah, it doesn't look super attractive. But they're just sticky notes. I only paid 50 cents, and there looks like these three are unused, and these were used a little bit. There's probably, I'm going to guess, 100 to 200 um, sticky notes, just because I've bought packs about the same size before. And for 50 cents, you cannot beat that. I I actually bought some sticky notes at the Dollar Tree a couple of weeks ago for college, because I'm going to annotate my books like crazy. I hate writing in books. Um, just It's just... I don't, I don't like to deface books like that. I mean, if other people do it, like, I'm fine with it. Um, it, it. It's their own books. They can do what they want. But personally, I just feel really weird about writing books. So I bought these for 50 cents. I was kind of hesitant, though, because I don't know. It's just, 
I was, I was being a bit snobby about my sticky notes, but these are, you know, these look like the post-it note colored, like canary yellow sticky notes. It looks kind of white on camera, but they're yellow. So I bought them because that's a really great deal for sticky notes. And I don't need to be so snobby when I'm on a budget and I'm just going to use all of these up by writing on them so they don't need to be super cute. And then, I'm only showing you guys two boxes, but my mom purchased 13, 13 boxes of these t tissues. Um, she ended up getting a deal. Um, the lady was trying to sell three for three, three boxes for $2, I think. And then my mom was like, I'll take them all if you, if you sell them to me for 50 cents. And so the woman considered it and she actually accepted. So 13 boxes, they look, they're, they're just the same as these. There's a couple, there's only like two or three of the lotion ones. I just wanted the lotion ones, personally, because, you know, I, they're really soothing when you're sick, but if I'm not, you know, super duper sick and I just need a couple of tissues, these are fine, too. Um, my mom was like, you know, just take these to college, these are perfect size, just, you're set for all four years, 13 boxes of tissues. Um, people at the flea market, just a little background info for people who don't have a flea market near them, a lot of them, a lot of of the sellers are extreme couponers or just like, you know, couponers who really, you know, watch out for the deals and, you know, use the coupons. Uh, so that's why things are much cheaper than retail value and they're still able to make a small margin of profit um, by selling things at cheaper than retail value. So uh, my mom used to be a couponer, but she uh, kind of fell out of it because she doesn't really have the time anymore. And she honestly, it's very difficult for her to find those really good deals anymore. Um, even with coupons, it's hard to keep track of the sales and the coupons together and everything. So we just get like a lot of basic household essentials at the flea market. Uh, anyways, sticky notes. These were 25 cents each. These were originally from the Target dollar spot. Mm, sometimes they have like a little date on the back or something. I don't remember ever seeing these, but I think these came out this, this year. So these are actually pretty new. And for a quarter... I thought, why not? These look really cute. They do not stick at all, really. I mean, for maybe, I don't know, a couple of minutes, it'll stick. Maybe if you have it in, like, a notebook, it'll stay. That's, like, closed up. It'll stay. But I've, ha I've used these before, and they fall off pretty easily. They're very not sticky. Um, but I thought for 25 cents, I'll just use some double-sided tape, just because I really just bought them for the pattern. Um, they were a dollar originally, and then these, these have a weird print on them. It's a little monster print, um, but it's sticky note, I mean, sticky note, post-it note brand sticky notes. And for a quarter, there are a hundred notes, and you cannot beat that price. A hundred notes of post-it, a hundred post-it brand sticky notes are at least a dollar, like a dollar store, so... I'll take the weird print. Like I said earlier about the previous sticky notes, no need to be so snobby and picky when trying to, you know, do things on a budget. And then I got a bunch of these little boxes. These are the really useful box brand box. Um, and I used to see these all of the time at Office Max and at Staples when I was a kid back to school shopping. And then they would sell these for like 50 cents each or something like that. And my mom never bought them for me because I I mean, she was right to do that. Like, what are I really going to do with these boxes? But because I've wanted them ever since I was little, I took... I, I was originally just going to buy three of them. These are 25 cents each, by the way. But, um... There, I, there's just, you know, a lot of them. And they're such a nice steal. When am I really going to find them for 25 cents each? So I just uh, took all of the ones that she had. Let me see. I, I think... I don't know, they're still... Okay, I'm not going to stack these anymore. These are going to fall. I got seven of the pink ones, and then I got... Oh, no. No, I got seven, but I was only holding six. And then I got three purple ones. These are uh, 0 0.14 liters. I don't know how much that is in ounces. Uh, but, yeah, they're made in the UK. They're the brand name. Um, and so I paid 25 cents each for those and only paid 250 for all of those, so. I don't know what I'm really going to do with them. I can organize so many cute little things with them. 
and they close. There's nothing wrong with them at all. It's not like the latches are broken or anything. So I just got a lot of those. Um, let's see. I think that's everything that I purchased and a couple of things that, you know, my parents purchased. But now on to the clothes. So, clothing. A lot of the clothes that people sell. Now, there's people who come to the flea market who are just, you know, regular people. They're just selling things that they don't need. But a lot of the people there, they make it a business. They buy storage lockers, you know, um, they go to estate sales, they, they do extreme couponing, and they make it a business to sell at the flea market. So, I think the guy who sells these clothes, because he comes pretty often, is one of those people who buy storage lockers because there's just an assortment of clothes. He just had a pile of clothes on a tarp, just this big pile. Well, there's two, technically, but they're all mixed up. There's kid clothes and baby clothes and women's clothes and men's clothes all mixed up of all different sizes. So it's kind of annoying to sort through. I think we spent, my mom and I spent like 25 to even 30 minutes sorting through these piles, but it's such a great deal. Like that shirt I just showed you um, is brand new. It's Morona. It's from Target. The tag fell off, but yeah, it's just a brand new dress shirt, blue, and um, they were a dollar a piece, but my mom managed, she struck a deal and actually paid $13 for, I think it was 20 pieces of clothing, so I'm just going to try to go through this kind of quickly. This is a top from Rue 21. Uh, it's extra small, so I don't think it will fit anybody, but it costs um, $16.99, sells the tag. I was thinking maybe I could try to sell this because I've been selling things online lately. But I, everything I've tried, that I've bought specifically to sell, um, I've not made that much money on it. In fact, I've lost money on some things. I'm, it's not really my forte. Um, it's just, I think I've just been buying the wrong things. Um, or, you know, whatever. But I have made quite a bit of money just selling things I've had for years and years. Because, you know, I buy things at the flea market and at yard sales, so I didn't pay that much for them. So I sell them. I'm selling those items at a pretty decent deal, I think. Um, this has a tag on it, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. I guess this was the original tag. It says forever. It's a forever 21 top. It still has the extra button. Yeah, it's just a sheer blouse. Yeah, a lot of these are on mom's clothes, so I have not seen these yet. Um, but I did pick up a couple of things. My mom graciously paid for them. Thanks, Mom. Um, let's see. I'm just taking a look at the brands because uh, these things, like, you can find such great deals because it's all just thrown in together. So there's brand new stuff. There's really good brand names mixed in from with clothes from, like, Target or Walmart or just non-brand clothes. Um, and so I saw a lot of things that were really nice, but it was either not my size or maybe even it, some of the stuff was my size. It was cute. And it, some of it was even brand new, but just because it's affordable and cute and it's your size doesn't mean you should buy it because there are a lot of things I just thought were cute, but I would never personally wear. So I had to really, you know, hold back. I mean, it was my mom's money, but I was, you know, I don't want to waste my mom's money, you know. Uh, and I've been buying a bunch of clothes my personally anyway, so this is just a long sleeve top. It doesn't have a brand, but it looks pretty cute. Uh... It's good to layer with, I think, because it's got, you know, a bunch of little holes, so ventilation so you don't get too hot under your jackets. Let's see, just a pair of shorts. My mom, this year, she started biking to work because she live. we live about, we live like a mile and a half away from where she works, so she's been trying to stay fit because, uh, you know, she's wants to stay fit, um, almost said, uh, I didn't want to be rude about my mama, but, you know, she is getting a little chubby, um, she's very small still, she's just basically my size, just a little bit, you know, mom-shaped, uh, I just want to be polite, uh, don't want to, you know, say anything about my mom, but, yeah, she's been biking to work, so she got a lot of fitness clothes, like this shirt here, um, let's see, I haven't seen any... All of this so far has been my mom's. None of this is mine. I didn't really pick up that much. Um, let's see. 
Lulu LeMay. Never heard of that. This is blouse. Yeah, this is this is definitely like my mom's style. Part of the reason that I spent so much money on clothes this summer was just, you know, I'm an adult now, and I was like thinking to myself, I just want to have clothes that I really like, that I bought for myself, and just like some brand name things that will last a long time, because, I mean, I love my mom, I, I love what she does for me, uh, she's bought me lots of clothes over the years, but a lot of it is her style, so I just want clothes that I really liked, um, yeah. I think these are for my brother. Some athletic shorts. Cause you can, like I, like you can see here, I can find really great deals at the flea market on clothing, but I paid a, a bit of a premium cost on some used clothes um, online. As you, if you've watched my online clothing hauls, just because you know I didn't want to wait around to try to find stuff. Um, at the flea market because it might not even fit you know it's just it's, it's a bit of hit or miss when you look like at the thrift store or at yard sales or at flea markets so i just wanted the experience of like online shopping you know just because i can easily find it's my size it's style i like there's no like mystery about it or whatever um if that makes sense um these pants are probably for my 10 year old brother oh i have two brothers by the way these are probably for like my 16 year old brother. I almost forgot his age. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but you know, I like to chat and I'm just showing you clothes. So I don't really have much to say about the clothes. So I might just chat. Again, these are for my mom. Some athletic wear. This, this is mine. She showed this to me. This is a bright neon. It's a greenish yellow. It's a bit garish, but it's this pretty skirt and Especially, um, I know in high school, we had a lot of spirit days for, like, football, where we would have, we always had some kind of neon day. And I'm thinking college is going to be the same, or even, like, even crazier with, like, spirit days. So, this is not a color that I wear normally. Like, you cannot tell on camera, but it, it's this really neon yellow. Uh, so, but I thought, you know, for spirit days and stuff, this would be perfect. So, that's mine. It does have that nice high-low action going on, so I probably might actually wear that if it's not a spirit day, just normally a color that I don't wear. Um, I think this is also my mom's. What's cool about this shirt is that it's got the mesh back, so it's kind of like an athletic top, and it actually has a built-in zipper in the back. Like, there's a little pocket. I'm not sure how useful that is because it's right at your back instead of your front, but that's cool. I'm sure my mom will try and give me some of this stuff, I'm just going to let her have it because the only thing that I've shown so far that's really my style is this, and I I think I've packed too many clothes to college already, so I really can't afford to take any more. Um, let's see, oh, this is, for a dollar, yeah, this is a really great deal, Nike dry fit athletic top, again, my mom's mesh back and stuff. I just love going to a flea market. Sometimes it's really hit or miss. Uh, like I, I, you've seen videos where I've barely shown anything, but this little skirt. I think this looks like it's. I don't. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of stretchy. Yeah, I think this is my mom's. She she keeps buying. Um, we have. A, I have a lot of little cousins, and she keeps buying clothes for them. But then she keeps forgetting where she puts them, and then they grow too large to fit the clothes. So she <laughs> she's a bit of a problem sometimes with buying clothes for young kids because she 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 has lost she like can't find a lot of um the little kid clothing but it's it's very sweet that she does that um this top has a tag on it it's just the sheer black blouse i don't really like to wear sheer things i don't i know i can just wear a tank top inside but I, i'm kind of weird about layering so i don't really like tank tops that much um i'll wear them if there's a top that i really like but, um, that'll be my mom's. Uh, let's see, this is a Joe Fresh brand top. Oh, that's very pretty. Still has a tag. It's worth $29. I know I haven't been saying the brands and the pricing for everything that I've shown. Oh. 
here's one of those things. This is a dress for a 10 year old. I do have a 10 year old cousin, but she lives overseas. I don't know if my mom's gonna get this to her before she like becomes, honestly, she might turn like 15 by the time uh, my mom is able to like get this to her. Uh, Cause she doesn't wanna pay for shipping or anything. She wants to like bring them over personally, but going overseas, is expensive, especially long term, and my mom wants to go long term, you know, because her family is over there, so. Finally, okay, this is a top for my 10 year old brother. Still has that little plastic thing, so it might have had a tag at one point. I don't really see him wearing this. He, he is rough on his clothes, and he doesn't like to wear nice clothes unless forced. Absolutely, like, he absolutely has to, like, threaten to ground him. That's when he'll wear um, nice clothes, but yeah. Uh, really nice things. Honestly, uh, the highlight of this haul, the best deals that I got, probably, well, my family got, I guess. Uh, my mom got such a good deal on these clothes here. I didn't realize, this ended up being the only thing that I got from this, that clothing, but it was just fun to look around, honestly. Um, I also really like getting these. And sticky notes are a must-have, especially since I'm an English major, I'm going to be writing a lot on these books. Um, the, I used a lot, I took AP English Literature, um, my senior year of high school, and, and that was, that class I used the most sticky notes I'd ever used in my entire life, because I, I'm a, when I take notes, sometimes I just, you know, write them in a notebook, I don't really, like, annotate, but you need to annotate books when you're an English major, so. I'm speaking a little bit quickly now, because I feel like my camera's gonna cut me off, uh, soon, so. Think... You know, I'd like to do the favorite things segment, but I basically just did that, talking about the sticky notes and the clothes. So I'm going to end it here, and I hope you guys have a great week.